I'm Maria and I'm working in a kindergarten. I've been using my profiling to track my on-the-job experience for my training. In the morning, we have a team meeting, followed by setting up the room and outdoor area. Then we greet the families and welcome the children. During the morning, I sit with the children to play and support them as they learn, and I need to manage arguments or problems. I supervise the kids through all their meals, and then we move to inside playtime, where we build some play spaces with boxes and cardboard. After lunch, it's nap time for the kids, and I organize a few things for the afternoon and read with some children who aren't napping today. Then we have some quiet afternoon play inside. As the children get picked up, I have a quick chat with one of the parents who is wondering how their child's coping. Their child only started with us last week, and I chat with another parent about why their child needed a band-aid. Once the children have left, I do the rest of the pack-up and make any preparations my head teacher needs me to make for the next day. It's pretty busy looking after little kids all day. Let me show you how I log all of this into my profiling. First thing I do is select my age group. So for me, that's preschoolers. My setup time fits into a few categories. Firstly, into plan and implement play, adapt the physical environment, create a good place to play. In policies and procedures, I'm ticking employ child-focused work practices, and in education support services, I'm ticking identify learning frameworks. Because the teacher and I purposefully adapted some Reggio Emilia techniques in our play spaces today to help some of our students engage better. Greeting families and children mostly comes under work with families in the community, and in that category I tick discuss child development and work with families. Also in the caring routines category, I'm ticking settle new arrivals. So if I recall my day, first up we were outside doing a nature walk with the kids, so I'll add that to my logbook as well. I go into child development and play and I tick help children learn from physical activity, support physical activity and support emotional development. A big part of this chunk of time is in the category interact with children. Talk with children, develop communication capability, interpret nonverbal cues, and use positive support. Also, the plan and implement play category, promoting physical activity, support children at play, and play and socialize with children. After the morning tea time, it's onto the indoor activities we did where we built things with cardboard boxes. In Cultural Diversity and Awareness, I choose Select L&N Resources because I helped the students write signs and we did some incidental counting as we made our creations. In Child Development and Play, I chose Show How to Use Recyclable Materials as that was the focus of this playtime. In Interact with Children, I chose Talk with Children and Interpret Nonverbal Cues because I discussed the plans of what they were making and also interpreted their nonverbal cues of frustration at not being able to do a task, and one child was getting frustrated at another, which I had to interrupt and help them resolve. I can see that it has a green box around it, so I know it's already selected. Also, during this craft time, one child cut their finger on the sticky tape dispenser, so I applied first aid. First aid, then apply appropriate first aid. For lunchtime, I'm going to select caring routines and organize good hygiene, as I reminded everyone about washing their hands before and after lunch. During the afternoon session under Interact with Children, I'm ticking Talk with Children, Develop Communication Capability, Use Positive Support, and Interpret Nonverbal Skills. I can see that it has a green box around it, so I know it's already selected. In the Plan and Implement Play category, I'm going to tick Play and Socialize with Children and Support Children at Play. Those information conversations I had with parents at home time mostly fall under work with families and community. I'm choosing discuss child development and work with families to cover the conversation I had about one of the children's progress and how they're fitting in. I can see that it has a green box around it, so I know it's already selected. To cover the other conversation with the parent about why their child needed a band-aid, I'm putting this under first aid and follow workplace procedures for first aid because it's our workplace policy to let parents know if we've had to apply any first aid during the course of the day. Pack up also has things I can select. For today, I'm ticking monitor a safe workplace and then follow workplace procedures and implement safe work practices because I followed our procedures for stacking equipment correctly and safely, etc. Just so you know, I can add in the time I spend in class in the leave off job activity category 
or add time off when sick as well. There's a bunch of options there. When I click next, I get to the concurrent activities and here I can choose follow workplace procedures. On the final page, I can change my task name if I want to add in how many hours I work today, that's eight hours today, and my supervision level, minimal. Also, just above there, I can choose what day it is that I'm recording. This is really handy if I want to check what days I've recorded if I miss one. It also helps my supervisor to recall what I've done because once I've finished all my profiling for the week, I send it off for my supervisor to approve. And that's how I record my days in my profiling.